need to keep my eye on you. Make sure you don't get landed or otherwise leave my court. Not being able to convert you is a bit of a pain. Well, I almost could, couldn't I? He's terrified of me. The fervor difference, my learning skill, of course. If only he liked me a bit more. Wait, does liking even play into it? His opinion of you, minus 98. But we can get rid of some of that. We can get rid of 11 there. I could bump up my own learning. In fact, to make that gift actually help a bit more, I could make you help me on that. God, my wife can help me with everything here. Almost there. How else can I make him like me a bit more? I could have you educate one of my many children. I got plenty. Just take your pick. Take Derwin Duggo. Don't do anything to them, though. You're not a monster, are you? And then your opinion will go up. I see it's already going right there. Uh, why am I under siege? Pilsen is under siege. Well, this cannot be. Disband you. Find the place that has the best supply limit around here. Which is practically everywhere, but still. I also need it to be relatively close. Mm. Just slam you over here, then. Raise local army only. Ah, Christ. Well, get stuck in. Get them killed. Overly talkative, you say? Asalia's ability to make friends has proven invaluable in my scheme. She's not quite as careful around others as she should be. Oh, well, this won't expose anything. Undetected. Right, seems like he likes me enough. It's time for you to embrace the great Chin, my friend. And just like that, our relationships warm massively. Visions of the Divine. Mm, this is how, through the corner of our eyes, we'll spot the inscrutable form of angels. I'm not going to be able to convince you of anything, so uh, let's just take what we can and make a leg for it. And get rid of that army. It's nice to get a bit of war score, but we're probably going to have to wait on the occupation here. There's no way I'm trekking my way over to Baderhoth proper to take this. Good, good, good. My knight. What I need to make sure is that there's a good woman for you to marry. A good inbred woman. It's going to be difficult. Well, actually, since you've got the... Uh, the Great Chin, you've got yourself a 25% boost to fertility. On top of that, what do you have? Oh, you got two in erudition. That is not going to help you breed faster or better. But maybe with this next one you'll get uh, boisterous loins. Unlikely, but I can dream. Also, Please do not actually educate my child. I wouldn't want him to turn out French. I gotta be fast though, this guy could be landed at any point. So, we're a good bit away towards uh, killing your spouse. It's fine if she gets pregnant now, it's a really two for the price of one deal, even if she does. If I win this, I wouldn't mind landing you there, but I still have to push your claim. And then, nah. I just need to keep you in my court, but that might not be easy. There's some Badahoth just to the northwest. Well, sure, but still a bit of a trek. Well, finishing this war faster might be for the better. Make haste and lay waste, lads. Don't get caught along the way. Although it's fine if you catch someone else. Okay, right. Well, that, that death's going faster than I thought. I hope she's not afraid of spiders. Hehehehe. <laughs> spiders do not talk. Cannot be traced back to me. 
Now you're probably feeling really glum there, Prince of France. You had a wife, she's gone now, but don't worry. I got the hottest great chinnies available for you now. Who are we going to have for you? It's imperative that their dynasty is Ugo. Why do we not have a lot of good Ugo choices here? Perhaps I need to arrange a marriage for you with an Ugo. But that's still not getting us anything. Hmm? Oh, is the Ugo thing not checking for Ugo anymore? It it acts weird sometimes. You say Dynasty Ugo and it gives you not Ugo. Oh no, it's giving you their Dynasty. My god, I can't believe that's not... Well, whatever. Uh, I can check for Ugo here at least. You've kept them all for yourself. I have not. I've been generous spreading out the Ugo seed. So yeah, normally, being inbred is such a huge hit to fertility that you worry about ever actually producing children, but, 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 this is okay. We have enough to counteract that. I would like it to be someone that is of age so they can immediately get down to work producing an heir, but the best I can do you is a 13-year-old hideous... Hideous looking lass. GF Mingo. Oh, they're gonna hate each other. Cynical does not like Zealous. Zealous does not like Cynical. Generous and honest. Just. Well, it's their duty to mate, and mate they should, so. Get together. Oh, and it is matrilineal. The trouble is, I could still break off that, but it should be okay. Should be. I have a troll of uh, for now. And since it's matrilineal, you should end up staying here. And when you pump out a child, I shall make sure that that child's uh, claim is pushed in France. Matrilineal, house Ugo, good. Give it a few years, make sure they get down to business. Mind, oh, oh, Crivens, I could get Athletic. Or I could, oh, well, that's not worth it. Athletic is almost always worth it. I didn't get it, but it was a, a shot in the dark. I'm not so good at 50-50s. What I'm good at is 1 in 32s. <laughs> right, my son, cousin, and brother-in-law. I don't mind just. I don't like cynical. Temperate is good, but it's not. I'm gonna take all that stress good. By the way, Jake, the reason Lustful is so uncommon is because the event that spawns can only occur after the 13, and they usually have the three traits by then. Is that so? Well, the more you know. All right, I think I just ran into some people that uh, simply got in my way. The bombards will still take down Felograd in no time. Veen is being worked out. Oh, I don't like that. This place is going to be down in no time. I could, however, shove a whole lot of useless, um, very useless levies at them. I mean, they're mostly levies anyway. Well, they're not, but, you know, throw what we can, because we can. Give me back my stolen land. Wow, not bad. That's why we use mass. I keep capturing people, and I could off them if they're landed all the better to. Of course, I could torture them too if I feel like making some enemies. But there's not a lot of point in doing this. Dread isn't going to get me anywhere right now. And I don't need their money, so I'll just let them rot there for a while. Oh, but the battle, I suppose, is good for battles. One, when I take this, that should be game, set, and match for the war. I could land this chap. I certainly could. But I don't think I want to. As long as an Ugo inbred pops out at some point, we're all... Oh, Christ! 
The King of England is not happy with what I'm up to over here. This does not look like a good battle for us. We're horrifically outnumbered. But never, ever, ever outgunned. I'll be honest, I can't believe that worked out in my favor. They had better leadership. They were wholly warriored. Let's see. That's a slaughter. I'm going to have to check the, uh, the end results of this battle. Counter their pikemen, counter their crossbowmen. So the crossbowmen were countered, their armored horsemen were countered, footmen, I believe, are also countered. Yeah, because knights counter skirmisher. No, they don't. I don't counter skirmishers. Horsemen countered, pikemen destroyed. I think their problem was that they brought a ton of levies, and those levies got slaughtered. That's said though, a couple thousand of you, a thousand of you. I, I would disagree that they had tiny amounts of men at arms, but still, that's... Ooh, 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 don't... Wait, prestige? Did I actually get prestige for that fight? Prestige and piety instead of fame and uh, devotion? Why? Yeah, they are a third party, but why? Why did I get prestige and piety? I don't know. But I do know that this fort is going down. Prestige works in mysterious way. There must be a reason. I don't get it, though. Fights that don't give war score give prestige and piety. Ooh, thank you, demon. That makes a lot of sense. So does my victory here. Thank you, Badahoth. Excellent. Let's get you disbanded. And, well, look at those borders. That's beautiful. We finally finished off Austria as a duchy. That did, however, really dismantle our number of chinpo... I think I can hear my bakeries in the background. I can't escape them. Um, okay. Game? Okay, I thought maybe I could get rid of it with another effect. <laughs> it's, not, it's not gonna end, is it? Please, game. This is gonna haunt me. Will it ever end? Is this just people running for their lives when they see the Uggo house in the distance? If you want to leave that bag, you can leave. Okay, well, let's uh, let's make a little save here, shall we? Um. Whew, thank oh dear God. That is messed. That is messed up. We're more than twice the height of the scaly duchess. How? Logistically, how? Good grief. Now think of all the giant babies that came out of her. Oh. Dear God. It, it, she must give birth through osmosis. It's the only way. That poor woman, says JJ. Poor indeed. Right, so we managed to grab ourselves a piece of land here. 
I'm a little torn. Do I just... Well, I've got to give it away. I have to give away my main Austrian holdings, because they're the only ones that are actually, um... Do you or mine? The thing is, who's going to get this? I could give it to my knight. Are you first in line for France, by the way? Are you in line for anything? How far down the line are you, actually? How do you even have that implicit claim? You have an implicit claim, doubtlessly, because you are the king's son, right? Yeah, there he is, but he's so far down the list. Actually, what oh, crivens, they got primogenitor. Well, he's not getting jack, then. So I don't actually need to worry about him inheriting land. I do have to worry about him just simply being landed. Um... If I were to give you a chunk of land here... Wait, why give it to you? Screw giving you land. I'm going to give GF Mingo the land. Then you're going to pump out those children of House Ugo with those claims, and I'm going to push those claims. And hope they don't take this land. Actually, if they take... that, yeah, it should be okay, actually. GF Mingo, congratulations. You now have... There are only temples here. Huh. I suppose I could build a castle there. I mean, I could still grant this to you. I don't have anything stopping um, my priests marrying and such, do I? I mean, you're a priest. Mm, don't like what I see there. You're a priest? Eh, better not. Better side on... Better err on the side of caution here. Bunny's doing well. Hopefully pumping out more inbreds for us. Mm, I don't like this. And this is pushing me over my domain limit. Without me having anything to drop away. I'll hold on to it for a while though. Probably. Even if I build this castle, of course I am building this castle here, how do I... Oh, guardian, 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 domain limit, victory, 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 don't care. You became malnour... What? How? We've been going to feasts, we've been hosting feasts. Oh, maybe it's because of being secluded. Well, time to chomp down. Theocratic inheritance laws don't exist, Jake. Unless you're on lay clergy. I think you're barren, essentially. Yeah, what I'm wondering is, when I build this castle, how do I ensure that the castle is the capital of this Prince Bishopric? Because I will want it to be. But I'm not looking to move my capital there. Because I don't think... Do I have anywhere with multiple castles? that I own. I don't think I could make, say, uh, Floresdorf the capital of Wien. Wait, what? It is? Nonsense. Wien is the capital. Look at all that. It's got all the slots. Make, make it the primary holding. How do you do that? Maybe I can't uh, move here because you hold it. Are you useful to anybody? You're not. Right, let's just get rid of your title for now. Move the county capital here. Right, so I can do that. Good to know. So I'll move the county capital to this temple, then land French boy. Well, French boy's wife. French boy is, uh... Betrothed. Come on, age up. It is your duty for the chin line to put the great cleft on France. I never look at this part often enough, but I want to check out our feast. It's a shame the music goes away so swiftly. I want to hear it play out when we're doing this. Lots of people joining in, except for Lepardi. Jinx, my own cousin turning me away. It's kind of tragic in its own way. 
laudable effort. <laughs> yes, we have. Come on, my hideous scaly wife. Put out more hideous scaly children for me. Svatava has really let me down. She is scorning me hardcore. Only giving me one giant inbred when I want so much more. Seems like the primary wife is doing all the wifing for me, but... Come on now. I'm swaying somebody. I don't know who and I don't know why. Oh, well that explains it. You're the one that I gave all that uh, money to. Abandon that folly. Fight for that thirst. I like the implication of you getting money for asking people for uh, to chip in. Because it means that you're just taking a cut yourself. Doodleby's not that profitable, but all these churches, all these churches that do get built up, that is why my bishop makes crazy dosh. And she just becomes a walking bank for us. I have my sister wife to thank for much of the success. I feel nothing but gratitude. Right, Eager Reveler should really help with the malnourishment. I think it now, now checks every year instead of every three years for your weight. But Eager Reveler itself bumps up your target weight, which you drift towards in time. That said, I have never been able to defeat overweight or malnourished in this game. Despite the many things you do against it. French boy is still my knight, which is good, but he's my knight and my... My, 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 my court physician. Despite not being that great for it. Oh, I guess astute. No, mastermind philosopher. Nice. I can't believe it. Bunny wants to install herself. I gave you Amstetten. Where it all began. Can't be trusted, clearly. Right, we almost have that culture promoted, and that means I am almost the culture head. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, damn, fickle. Uh, content. Uh, trust. <laughs> it's all bad. I'm not looking forward to playing as you. I might, might uh, reconsider my options at this rate. Who was the other giant, uh, giant albino? Uh, not albino. Giant inbred. Super pie was giant. The problem with playing as a woman is that it slows down the amount of kids you can have. Far better to have women as secondary spouses than men. Damn, all these giant women. Giant, giant, giant. They're all daughters, right? I don't think we have giant... Uh... Oh, well, I guess we're going to be playing as this loser then. Well, on the plus side for them, they could bash out those kids. And they have plenty of sisters to bash it out with. Had enough minigun bullets in the back to know never trust Bunny, says Young. With a great reference to the RimWorld campaign there. Okay, the knight is here. He's fiddling nervously with his sleeves. I open the door. What's he doing? My deepest apologies. I must sleep with you. I've discovered something very interesting. But he wants me to let him off the hook. There's no way in hell I'm getting rid of a hook on a Frenchman here. Especially French nobility. I also don't want him to die from his wounds. Oh god, the... Paranoia hurts. 77 stress. Ah, let's just beat him up. There we go, he didn't get uh, critically wounded there. And it turns out that uh, my own half-sister cousin wife, mother to our five freakish children, is a non-believer. That sounds like bad news. Right, I should also start considering what I can do to get an HRE in my lands and in breeding. Primary heir is 25 and unlanded. 
He's also already married, so perhaps you're not the best uh, best person to consider. Let's look at the claimants. Scroll past the landed ones, because we don't care about those. Scroll past the decrepit old ladies, because we certainly don't care about those. Thirty No, unpressed is also something we don't care about. Ah, look at you. 36, 25. Unmarried pressed claims are good. Young. Oh, you, you're the full-on heir, though. You're a bad choice. Because when Chunky LeChung here falls, that's going to be... Well, are you actually a bad choice? Oh, yeah, player heir is blocked. But not always, for some reason. You've already had one child. Hail. Viola. Nope, patrilineal, not happening. Prince Wealth. Married to an idiot, are you? Well, how would you like to be joining my court? I'll do exactly that. Bring him over, dispose of his wife, marry him to one of my inbreds, and then we should be able to pop out somebody to force onto the HRE's throne. That could be a problem, but we've dealt with the HRE before. We've resisted arrest. HRE succession is election-based, isn't it? Normally, yes. However, they now have high partition for some reason. Wouldn't claim to know what... God, I don't... Why do I inherit the baronies? Surely when the low noble dies, there should be another noble to replace them and hopefully keep that money. I don't understand. Oh, God, that wretched old fool's gonna die as well. Hmm. They're <laughs> so big. And you are so tiny. If you inherit the barony, you'll inherit the money too. Did my money go up? I guess I could check down the line. Let's get open-minded, but I really care about learn on the job. Because, hey, an inbred having stats like this. It's not something you see every day. Oh, yeah. We finished the cultural enrichment of Freistadt. And now we are the culture head of the Czechs. And since we're so much better than that other loser... We can probably just stay focused on uh, midichlorians here. After that, though, what do we want? Primogenitor would be pretty nice. Save me having to spend a thousand prestige naming an heir every time. But standing armies is incredibly good, too. Eh, lots of things are good. Domain limit is nice, since we are never going to have good... Domain. Oh shoot, I should have been focusing you on... No, you're on Intrigue, that's fine. Try and chat up our bishop, who would make an excellent court physician, but we're working on the other guy. Arbitrary, vengeful, and humble. Probably Serenity. Pleases her. Please, your omnipotence. Have mercy. Don't you get primogenitor if you form Austria? Yes, but that's a lot of chin points away right now. One, two, three. That's 90 chin points there. 60 if I trim out leans. But on top of that... I only need to completely control it. I don't need the duchy. That's good. The ruler of the HRE belongs to the Ugo dynasty would allow us to manage that. Ooh, but they'd become dynasty head, wouldn't they? Painful. Maybe I'll see to it that they die quite quickly. Wolf, the son of da da da, he's a complicated man. I need to understand him. Fun to convince people to take my side in upcoming arguments. This is not looking good. I'll take the chance there. He does find us, but our success chance is still maximum. All right, but the, the actual question was, do we get primogenitor? And yes, yes, we do. I don't get it, though. You use your weak hook on the Kaiser, but you need a strong hook. Something wasn't thought out there. Right, GF Amingo, it is time for you two to breed. Breed like the monkeys you are. Okay, the bond is made. And again, inbred is really unhealthy on the fertility, but House Ugo and Great Chin removes most, but not all, of that penalty. 
Not landed, but for the love of God, make some babies. I'll land you in three years. Actually, if they pop out a kid, I'm just going to fight for that kid's claim. To be clear, I don't need to, at the same time, hold all these things. Just got to do it once, otherwise it would be a lot of babying. It's just to make sure that we have some big fights that we have to be able to take care of. Because for the campaign, I could probably do it with barely lifting a finger in terms of having big fights. But I do want a couple of big ones, that's why I said the top... Uh, the top Chalufa over in France and the HRE and Italy have to be taken on. But Italy doesn't really have anything to do here. Doesn't seem like a worthy cause to do any of these guys. Yeah. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, there's no claimants for uh, the papacy. What a shame. Smack the Pope. Yeah. Hang on, what happened to my... Did he die? I was making a claim on somebody and away he went. And now I can't remember who it was. Where were you? Who were you? That's the French guy. There you are, Prince Wealth. Wasn't I making a claim on you? Where did it go? Don't tell me it disappeared because I looked at this. I didn't start it. happened did you get caught ah uh, I mean I had well, I didn't get an event for being caught what happened there I don't know but I know that I don't like it hmm. okay different thought when you do meritocracy's claim throne what claim do you get is it pressed or unpressed because that would be another way to go about it pressed thank you we're going to take that route for uh for the holy roman empire pressed claims will be tur will turn into unpressed claims for my uh, children and then i can press a sibling's claim on it Truce with Castile, don't care. Since I'm his spy master, I will very likely be able to pre uh, to make that pressed claim. But I certainly want to get learn on the job first because it's very powerful, especially whilst I am the culture head. Are you a man yet, by the way, uh, Super Ninja? No, but you're almost a man. So we need to find you an almost woman. And, of course, they should be, uh... I'll go. In fact, it would be best if it was one of your sisters. If you're a giant inbred, then, if I set you up with another giant inbred, we are almost certain to have giant inbreeding plus. And that is a recipe for points galore. Super pie, it is time for you... To join. Well, at least this time it's not with a midget, right? Oh, and giants actually like each other. Giants have plus 20 opinion of each other, so even if they have conflicting traits, they'll actually quite like uh, not having to look up nor down at each other. The chin is looking mighty weak right now, says Marty. What do you mean? Maybe you mean the chin points, but we just spent 60 of them. So it's no big deal. You have like eight giant inbred daughters, says Asselpur. Exactly. That means that inbred giant is almost guaranteed on all of their children, which is seven points each. So I should be able to net 70 out of them. 
What's this? My daughter, GF Mingo, is giving birth to a daughter. Please be inbred. They're not. Oh, man. Bleeding for Sund. However, House Ugo. Vlaster. Hmm. Well, I can't push your claim. Well, it's not worth pushing your claim because you're not, um... Words. Words. Must they fail me like this? Hang on. I just had a thought. These are your claims. No, I did make you great chin. Okay. My worry was that claims would not go on to women because of Catholicism. But with the great chin faith, we're equal. So it will be passed on to women, I think. It enables equal, and we have equal, right? Or are we still male-dominated? Can't quite remember. Okay, good, we are equal. Men and women equal in succession, so it will pass down to the ladies. Good to know. Had to check that. It was pretty important. In any case, let's call you Silzo. Grew up strong and wise. Not that I care too much either way, because you're not inbred. The rules say I have to have an inbred ruler of House Ugo here on France. France is male only, isn't it? I don't think it matters what France is. It matters what our religion is. I think. Because I've pushed female claims earlier. At least I'm quite certain that I have. I will still press them. Yeah, I get women's can, women can get claims, but I'm pretty sure they don't inherit claims in uh, male-only, and perhaps not even in male-dominated. Start getting down to the nitty-gritty like that, I can't claim to know it all. Come on, Super Pie. Wish I could just sprinkle some growth fertilizer on you and have you grow another eight years, because I need that breeding, and I need it now. Right, it really doesn't look like our wives want to pop us out anymore, kids. They are, well, especially in your case, torn up about it all. I suppose I could romance you. Oh, that's, that's a long time, though. Who's got that kind of time to go for romance? Are any of my wives still looking to be impregnated? Oh, how about that? Lapardi. We must lay. You've only given me two kids so far. I demand more. Apostate, one more for learn on the job, and then that's that. Growth fertilizer. think there's another word for that. Really? I wouldn't know. Right, Ninja Pilot, it is time. Oh, right, no, it's not time. I need to wait another eight years. Poor guy, it's going to be a long eight years. Maybe I could set you up with someone just to kind of see you through it. No. You must hold strong. Think of all the inbred giants. Aha, uh -huh, my brother-in-law, the hook is back. You are, however, over at uh, France again. That's not a problem, as long as you continue to mate with Mingo. But I worry a bit that they won't. No, they should. They're married. Doesn't matter where your character is, they can still make the children. It would be good of me to murder you, because you're no good. It might be that they've already hit the cap of one child that they want to have. Again, I'll land you so that hopefully you have more, but if I get rid of the one child, hopefully they'll have some more. The odds of getting inbred aren't actually that great, since they're not related and it's only the woman with uh, the inbred trait. Something like one in five. How can you have zero intrigue with four-star intrigue uh, trait? Who were we looking at with that? He's got six intrigue. Just and inbred. It's not easy. And Jinx, that, that's because of his massive base. Unless there was somebody else, but if there is, we're not seeing it. But inbred is a massive cripple to your stats. Try playing this and then try playing as somebody that has genius and robust and beautiful. 
it's a completely different game. All personal things are so easy if you have the good traits. Conversely, if you have the bad ones, good luck getting anything done. But that's alright. The power of money sees us through. You might give me a learning thing. I'll make you my guest of honor. We can barely read, but we will still read from that uh, grimoire. Mm, doesn't stress me out, does it? No, it doesn't. It's only if you fail that it stresses you out. Ah, the art of scheming's not really what I'm looking for. Share the carnal gifts with someone. No, no, no. Bring my wife along to this. Oh, I don't think I witched any of them up, so they're not over at my, uh, my little affair here. Catty Lars is too old. Super Ninja's man. <sighs> GFM Ingo. What a brilliant yet devilish idea I've had. It doesn't necessarily have to be your child. People just have to think it's your horrible inbred child. Oh, no, no, it's my guest of honor. Ugh. Spend the night alone. <laughs> Right, well then, GFM Ingo. Seems that if Prince Ingurand is not going to do the deed, someone else is going to have to. So I just have to wait for you to be 20 years old. Impatient, shy, gluttonous, yeah, what a horrible trio. Did Jake not get any chance for the child being a bleeder? It wasn't our child, so no, I only get uh, points for my own children. <laughs> You're just helping the poor Frenchman out. He's not going to be happy with what I do, but we're still going to do it. Right, we got this. What else do I want? I like standing armies. I also like domain limit a lot. But I'll probably need those standing armies for fighting France and the HRE, so we should focus those. And we get it done nice and fast. I can't believe how learned this inbred began. Stop it. Why am I inheriting? Also, did I get the money? Hey, you're that lassie that I just had over at, um, at that get-together. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that useless sod left. Well, the Frenchman's gone. I can make an actually good court physician now. Mate with your ungrateful wife, Prince. Right, let's actually put a pin in you, because once you're 20, I shall make with the seduction. Ah, excellent! We can lay with the scaly battle axe once again! Alright, come on. We only have 12 kids. I demand more. Another inbred one that has come of age. You're not allowed to marry, by the way. So don't you dare wander off. Murdering a child. He's certain about this. Funny that it costs that way, but it has to be done, you see? Oh, this is going to cause me... 88 stress. Youch. I need to be alone and think about this. Or I could become flagellant. Prowess, health, stress loss, wounded. I mean, that's not too bad, I suppose. It's probably better just to dump some of that stress for now and then dump a bit more by going on a hunt this is paranoia paranoia is so painful we're no paranoia survivor max here 
and he's still horribly malnourished. He, oh, he's doing poor at 36. Oh, and it's that bloody white heart again. Well, maybe someday I'll find it. Come on, Ugo, when's your 20th birthday? January next year. Gotcha. Oh, I'll get you. That's the great thing. If I lay with GFM Ingo, it's almost certain that it's going to be inbred, and that's what I need. An inbred freak coming out of her. Oh god, I'm busy trying to seduce Lepardi. And that's going to take like 17 months. Forget it, Lepardi. You're not worth the time. I got bigger fish to fry. GFM Ingo. Great Chin appears in the Duchy of Nordgau. I'm not going to claim to know anything about Nordgau. I'm certain we have some Germans watching. Could you tell me anything about there? Is it north of Bavaria or is it northern Bavaria? I guess it is northern Bavaria. Oh well, in any case, they're going to join on the Great Chin Parade. Which isn't good. I want it to be really small, a religion. Makes it more fervorous. Also, I just noticed the Tengri's over in Uman. Sounds like uh, Catholic fervor is collapsing. It'll do that. Let's get some upgrades going whilst we can. It'll allow us to get even more upgrades down the line. Tempted to do lanes because people like to siege down lanes. For some reason, they like to siege this place down as well, but we'll leave it be for now. Hey, look at that. We got this. County capital goes here. GF Mingo gets landed here. Everybody wins. And now you are stuck there with your wife. Now watch as I have my filthy inbred way with her. To the victor the spoils, to the father the daughter. <laughs> to the father the daughter, cousin, sister-in-law. <laughs> Jake can ditch your sister wives and marry your daughters. I'm sure you have enough daughters to share with your son. Uh, well, I want my son to get all the giant inbred daughters, and it's not like my wives are too infertile. 33. Where are the backup ones? Actually, you get an extra hit to fertility there, but it shouldn't be too bad. Damn, I even laid with you and you're not popping out anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, we're near our own children limit as, uh, anyway, so it's no big deal, and I'm sure we're going to pop our clogs before I even know it. Nordgau is part of nowadays Oberfalz, a part of Bavaria. Is it noteworthy in any possible way? God, we have not had any internal problems here. We keep everything under a, uh, well, I wouldn't even say under thumb, just under chin. Come on, come on, come on. Happy 20th birthday, my love. Ooh, she loves her husband. She does not want to dishonor herself by committing adultery. You are family. like us for being an eager eagle uh, eager reveler and we do have a better rank at least but that committing adultery thing I don't ever remember that being there what if I were suddenly more attractive you know what sometimes you have to take the shots there's nothing else I mean your opinions already as high as it goes
Well, we just gotta try. Well, she's not immediately pushing me back. Oh, 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 Christ. I will not be able to attempt to seduce her. Oh. Dang. Can we do it by force? We got that hook going. All right. Now for a daughter that's less of a failure. Jing, she's got a winning smile for someone that's a giant inbred. In any case, what are you up to? Temperate? Why, that is a... Uh... I thought that was a thing of a jigger. Not a sin, but a virtue. Well, tempered is good. Look, I can't kill the husband. I need his claims. So they better get breeding. The thing is, how do you know that they are... Uh... When you're a wife and you have a whole bunch of spouses, how do you know which one's a real father anyway? Stop trying to bang as well. I'm trying to do it on the sly. Okay, what's going on here? Cynicism, zealotry, I don't particularly care. We'll just take whatever's going. It just tells you, Jake, the game cheats for you. Damn. Well, look, I'm not asking for a lot. Just breed, okay? I know you don't like each other that much, but breed. I already killed off your only uh, only lassie there. Well, let's see. I'm the primary heir here. If you were to die, I would simply invite you back to court and shack you up with another woman. Oh, I should have landed you and then given you uh, like a whole bunch of my daughters. That would have been a better idea. Hmm, I could bring him back to court yet. And he is great chin. More wives, more chance of inbreeding. I'd be landing him, which isn't good, but... Oh, I have to wait before I pull it away from her. Well, she doesn't get pregnant before then. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to give it to the prince. And then I'm going to, um, then I'm going to give him a whole bunch of my daughters and, well, let's see, oh, there we go, inbred 17-year-old. Two inbred, ah, that's three inbreds for him. I'm keeping the giant inbreds for myself, of course. I don't think a man can have multiple matrilineal marriages, really. So I'm fairly certain I can. Well, we'll see what's done when I land that guy. Hopefully he doesn't get his own. Pandy wants to leave. Pandy, I want to marry you off to this French freak. So don't go off and get yourself married. Shame I can't keep them on a leash. I do not like the Wanderers. What in God's name? My cousin has been showing signs of pregnancy. But it wasn't with whoever this guy is. It's with the old creepy crumbly Prince Archbishopric of that place. Utrecht. I'll have fun with that. Come on, GF Mingo. Inbred child with the French claims. Can be a man, can be a woman, I don't care. Just, oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. She knew that I was coming for that claim. Well, it better be inbred. <laughs> you better hope that it's horrific. I, on the other hand, I'm feeling too good. Malnourished giant inbred. Ninja Pilot's not quite ready, but they'll get there. Tarkin is, however. Good. I could set you up with a Frenchman as well if I really wanted to. There we go. Got learn on the job. Although I'm going to lose a bit of learning here, and I'm going to lose out in these, I will switch over to stewardship and try to get meritocracy. 
Preferably before I die. Because I actually don't want to die just yet. I want to hold on for another, I don't know, five years? Maybe six would be good? Maybe seduce the other sister's daughter wife before giving... Ooh, before giving them over. That's not the worst idea I've ever seen. But it's pretty difficult to get over that family penalty. Anyway, there's a good chance that it's all fine because she's about to pop out this wonderful baby boy who's about to become the... Well, boy or girl, who's going to become the disgusting inbred ruler of France for about three days before they get ousted. Oh. Aww. Autoker Ugo, you've let me down. If it ain't inbred, I ain't interested. Right, I don't want to be a tyrant for this, so here's how we're going to do it. GFM Ingo. She's a witch! Can't believe it costs to imprison you, but... Uh... Wait, I don't think I can revoke title with this. Revoking title is probably still tyranny. It is, but at least it will definitely work. I could kill her, but that would make me a Kinslayer. Which is probably not good, even though it's only shunned. I think I'll still revoke your title, though. Now, let's see how this works. You there are away, but I'm going to bring you to court anyway. Then, I'm going to grant you the title that I just revoked. Now, you should be able to have secondary spouses, right? Especially when I, you know, release you. Ooh, I'll get a... I can't get a favor on you, so I already have a strong one. Still, out you, out you pop. Not a monster here. No secondary spouses for you, though. Oh, no, I can. I can. There we go. Excellent. This is just what I want. So now the prince is going to have a whole bunch of freakish inbred... Uh, inbred lasses. I don't know why that feels like it messed up. But anyway, arrange marriage. My 16-year-old daughter... No, it's Pandy that wanted to run away. Pandy with you, matrilineal, and he will accept, even though he doesn't want to, because he's still marrying up. Alright, take that. But that's not enough. Take more of my horrific inbred daughter nieces. As long as they're not the giant ones. Like I said, I'm keeping those for myself. Breed with them. Breed with all of them. Kaladin as well. Yeah, oh, okay, there we go. There are all the giant ones for the uh, for the man of the moment. Oh, he doesn't want that. Why? What's different here? The age of Prince so and so. Well, why does that matter? She's 18, you're 27, get to work. Chance of children high. His opinion of me kind of hurts. But I've already given him a gift. He knows I'm cruel. He knows I'm a tyrant. The gift is the gift bonus has largely gone away. So let us focus on politics. Send him a gift to boost that opinion further. What else can be done for him? I could witch him up, but I want these relationships now. So perhaps you could... be a guardian for somebody. I don't particularly care who. My niece, for example. No, niece isn't good enough. 
How about Sehova? I gain stress because I'm paranoid, don't I? Always. There we go. Then we'll set you up with one of the other ones. Noble upbringing, noble da 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 da. Fellow pacifist certainly helps. I mean, is Kaladin that horrific for you? His own. It's going away, but it's not going away fast enough. I need another boost for him. Jings, even though I just landed the guy, I could make his contract really nice. It's not like I get a lot out of him anyway. I mean, it's just for one county. Jings, I could even give him... Wait, do any of these actually boost um, opinion? Council rights does. There's no way in heck he's getting that. Or title revocation. Or war declaration. No, I don't like that. Anyway, there you go. Have a really far too good contract. We're almost there. I just need a little bit more. And I will get that from Guardian of Relative. Gosh, I quite like this. Having to do everything you can to squeeze out opinion. And again, if I was a uh, genius, da 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 da, I would just send one gift and then they'd love me for it. Because my diplomacy would be so high. But as it happens, it's not my strong point. In fact, I cannot believe Duke Otker is as good at, is as good at everything as he is. It's absurd. Alright, that should be it. Close, but close enough. And to whoever said you can't have multi-matrilineal marriages, well, there you go. Getting straight to work. Excellent. But I can't help but feel he still needs a bit of a helping hand. So... Pandu's already pregnant, that's great. Tarkin Rex is too young. Of course, they're all too young, although Kaladin is almost not too young. <laughs> This Frenchman must feel like he's so lucky. Still focusing on that uh, that white heart. Don't know why that keeps popping up. Okay, good to see that Castile is truly getting booted out of the place. What's this war for, anyway? Uh, the Duchy of Gelra's claim on the Kingdom of Castile. Yeah, sure. That would put it under the Holy Roman Empire, so that would expand the HRE down here. That would be a great reversal of fortunes. A really great one, actually. Instead of Castile penetrating into Germany, Germany annihilates half of Iberia. It's barely even Castile. Like, this is Castile. It's just proto-Portugal. Proto-Gal. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Here's a... Oh, right. Ooh, oh, that's not good. Otakir's gonna die without me even having to help him. The Witch Coven could keep him alive, though. It has done so before. You're strictly allied to me, so I can't revoke your title, can I? Nor can I imprison you, but I can kill you. Oh, God, my strong hook's gone. Good thing I brought you back just in time. That is not an inbred. Come on, my daughters. You can do better than this. No, well, evidently they can't. Honesty is not good for you, child. In fact, it's sinful to us. However, to make you deceitful would cost me too much, so stick with honesty. It's a good policy. Yeah, they'll pass on father's death. So, I'm actually not sure if inherent, or rather implicit, claims get passed on. But the way I'm seeing it is... King of France pops his clogs. He's 78. That'll happen soon. And with that... Ingurand will have an implicit... Uh, will have a pressed claim. 
And then he dies, and the children will have unpressed claims. And then I press one of those unpressed claims, and I will, of course, murder. Murder and murder until all that comes to be. I would like you to die soon, but oh, come on, he's 78. He's going to die of his own accord soon. Oh, they grow up so fast. Not sure what to do with an inbred boy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Bunny. Oh, dang. Bunny actually brought out something pretty good. A club-footed inbred boy. Obviously, I don't get the points for that. It's not my child, but still. Good to see that they're going to float around the Uggosphere. In fact, 84 living members isn't too shabby for us. Yeah, what's going on here? Clearing land, preparing for a settlement, trees are uprooted, paths are cut, ground is swaled. Levy duties be reduced? Well, pff, take take all that you need. I don't really care about... Uh... Hmm, where's this for? Graz? I don't build in Graz. Take everything you need. That's actually a good, a very good amount of growth there. The prince just turned Bavarian. Um, I don't really mind as long as they're popping out as checks here. Don't tell me that's. A, oh, I know that child was sickly already, but it does remind me that I have not converted faith there, nor have I converted culture, both of which I need to do. Primogenitor in the HRE is good news for me. I'd hate to, I'd hate to weaken the HRE. The other concern may be matrilineal marriages, Jake. Check to see if his brother's kids have claims. Why would that be a problem? So you mean like uh, this brother? Well, I mean, they've got their implicit claims. The sisters obviously don't because the women don't inherit. So I'm not sure what you're getting at there. Still looking for this bloody heart. Well, Elkhorn, you won't be happy, but get to it. It's a really shame that we lost Albino, but... Right, what is this? Oh, this is a little investment that I put down the line. Von Doodles, who's held on to this for a while, can now start mating with a sterile, hunchbacked bastard. But the Great Chin and House Uggo will offset some of sterile, and you're not inbred, so the chance of children remains high. Get to it, and ha, you may be a bastard, but you're not able to found your own house because it's matrilineal. That's what you get. Shy, patient, fickle. Probably not the best to go with arrogant fickle, Callus. I don't think fickle likes fickle. But I also wouldn't claim to know. Okay, Prague, time to build up some more. For massive defender advantage. Massive money? No, we need a uh, fortress here. Wait, we almost have a fortress. There we go. This is so good. Taxes, development, growth, straight up taxes. The mines are good. Not as good as, say, Constantinople, though. That is just obscenely overpowered. Right! My French-turned-Bavarian-brother-in-law vassal knight. I think you need a bit of help with my daughters. Because you can't seem to get it on. I, however, can perhaps succeed where you have failed. <laughs> you are family. Don't I know it. I'm only going to be convinced if someone else is a better catch than that. Well, now we're talking, Pandy. Come on, let's help him out. The secrecy is not high. But that's okay, I just need... Oh my days, no, I was sure we had something going. This has gone too far, father. I'm your daughter, for God's sake. I really thought we had something special going on. That's alright, I'll just move two bedrooms down the hallway and start knocking on Kaladin's front door. Come on, we got something special going on, my daughter. 
You disgust me, Otaker. I'm your daughter. I'll bring your grotesque perversions to light. Trust my word. You do this to your own father. Oh. Oh, my days. Who raised these girls? Evidently not me. Well, in a couple of years, we get another shot at Tarkin Rex, but it seems like the French turned Bavarian man is already a step ahead of, uh, ahead of us. But none of them are popping out inbred, and that's a problem. Also, something popped up here, and I've already lost it. Oh? You have been a loyal and devoted subject. I wish to reward your service. I am offering you the position of Marshal of the HRE. Marshal sounds good, but you have to understand, my liege. I demand a more prominent position of spy master. Even though Stuart would be really nice right now, I need to be able to fabricate a pressed claim on his throne. Devoted and loyal subject. I guess he does like me. Hmm. That's what makes inbreeding hard, Jake. Incest is pretty impossible. Ah. Just gotta put your back into it. No, my heir. Don't cover up that glorious chin with a beard and a potato sack suit. Okay, 90 chin points away from these. 60 if I get impatient, and I think I'll get impatient. Then I need a hundred for the kingdom, but I can do that. It's a shame to get let go of Leans. I really pumped this place up a bit, but too bad. Hold on, Veen doesn't have a fortress yet. If any of these places don't, I mean, you didn't even have a concentric castle. Good heavens, the faults I find in this place. I don't even want to hold on to Graz, so I think I'll let that one be. Might actually be worth grabbing the Duchy of Graz. The title, that is, because then I don't need to fight for the rest, but I still need the points for it. Alright, Sihoa, you grew up fast and well, but you're still an inbred freak. Oh, you don't look so good. Oh, you're ill. But you did pop out a child, right? Oh, yeah, well, no, the sickly child. Something's going around over there. Sure, you'd think that maybe the game is saying morals can't be overwritten by something as simple as religious doctrine. But you can ignore that penalty with a third level intrigue. Yeah, very intriguing. Right, meritocracy. Claim thrown on liege. And that is exactly what we're going to do, whether he likes it or whether he does not like it. And he won't like it. Hmm, easy. That's what you get for being the spy master. This will be a pressed claim. This will go down to all of my children. And I'll pick the... Well, I'll pick one of the inbreds and force them on. However, I need to die to pass that claim on. I could take it for myself, but I don't have the chin points to take an empire. <laughs> I like the fact that his head, his, uh, head piece is popping out there. Brother taken prisoner? I don't do that to me. Oh, they're all growing up. Plenty of opportunities. A white heart. Yeah, we're still going on about this one. You might just be correct. Not that I have a lot of use for all this piety, but the level of devotion is good for bigging up my learning, which is definitely good for per, uh, pushing our way through all of these. I want those standing armies in time for the big fights. There we go. Let's not have people miscarrying, especially not my inbreds. Come on, Prince. Oh. oh! What does it take? Incredible French turned Bavarian iron seed plowing its way through inbreds. Ah! Damn it, and he's got five kids. Well, no, he's got four kids. I don't know if he'll make more than that. I hope he does. Those claims won't last forever. Look, they're already pressed. 
and they'll become unpressed here, and that's bad. I could fight for them to press them again, but I'd still need to bring the inbred line back in. How long until I can seduce you again? Mm, probably quite a while. Damn it, Daddy needs to get in there. I clearly do not stand alone in my ambition to rule the Holy Roman Empire. Ravens have been gathering on the roofs of the castle, and a few nights ago, even the stars seem to be falling all over the Holy Roman Empire. Peasants and nobles alike whisper it's a sign from Walter, or a sign that he's lost favor from God. That's good, but I've already got plenty of success chance thanks to being the... Spy master. Oh well, at least he's winning that war for Castile, but he needs to get his move on. I want him to have all of that. That's why the intrigue perk matters. That rejection counts as critical failure and cannot be undone. Yeah, but we had other things to focus on. On the plus side, Super Ninja Pilot, he is... Uh, Completely unfocused, but he's into Skullduggery and that, so I'm sure they have plenty of points for us to spend. Right, Sihoa wishes to leave. Before he leaves, I should shack him up with... Uh... Wait, Bunny is single? Bunny is not single, but Bunny could do with a secondary spouse. Well, no. You're only spindly, and that's my niece. I can't give away the giant inbred, so I want those. Ooh, Albino's back on the menu. How about that? You're unlanded in that court, which is outside of what we have. You're at least in my court. I don't know where you're going to go, but get together and make some more inbred Albinos so that maybe I can fold those back in like a nice pastry. Cadet branch. I didn't think we were big enough for that, but there you go. Okay, finally. Super Ninja Pilot can make his guaranteed inbred giant babies go. And on top of that, it's time for more merit. Oh, he's not landed. I can't give him more. It's a problem. No, it's not a problem because I'll inherit it all. So I can give him something like uh, Doodly Bee. And then he can have his secondary inbred giant spouses. Starting with rye bread and working from there. There we go. Earning support. Nothing could be too good for my future servants. Uh, prepare for the struggle. Well, I don't need to spend money on people liking me because I'm going to die soon anyway. The important thing, though, is that before we die, we get this claim, and then it can go down to our children, and then we can push that, and that should be you taking care of it still, just in case of getting France going. And for France, I need you to continue with the breeding, but you're not doing the breeding, which is a very bad news for me. If I kill these kids, then maybe they'll have some more children. Whoa, let's not cancel the, uh, the scheme that we're working on here. Soon I will rule the Holy Roman Empire. Pressed claim get. Regardless of success or failure, you could be discovered. There, nothing can stop me now. He becomes my rival. What a shame. But that's fine, because those pressed... Well, that pressed claim is going to go down to all these kiddos. So when it's Super Ninja Pilot's time to rule the roost, he can press those claims. So at this point, it's actually quite good if Otker dies. There's nothing left for him to do. He has achieved what he needed to do, which is have a healthy chunk of children to big up the uh, the chin points. He united the Duchy of Austria. Now it's a case of getting that stare mark. Didn't you despise food analogies relating to people? Why is this folding pastry acceptable? Because it's not about people, it's about the traits. Good heavens. Just can't see it, can you? 
Okay, maybe it's better just to get stressed out here so it's more likely that we die horribly. Oh, the brother deaths are coming in. And Scipio wants to leave right before Scipio leaves. Let's shack him up with somebody. My knightly niece, perhaps? Oh, this is an opportunity to have another lay. If I let go of one of them as a lover... Probably you... Yeah, this is actually good. Euphemia gets let go, and then we get right back in there. It says zero, but what it really means is... Um... Uh, well, let's give it the old college try. Surely we can do something with this zero. Hmm. Can't change focus here for a while to make myself more magically attractive. Alright, this is a good opportunity to uh, to further this along. To at least get a positive success chance. What will it take? <laughs> okay, she's not taking notice of the generosity. Still at 0%. Not only 0, it's like negative 15 or so. Fifty percent chance, surely it'll happen the second time. Excellent, there we go. Budding interest to get five percent success chance. Now we're talking. Oh, Crimin's limited crown authority in the HRE. Scary stuff. What's all this about? Oh, it's Sihua and the Albino. Please, by all means, create the inbred albinos for me. God, I'm getting... Hold on, I finished my... Uh... I finished my scheming. I think he's hit his soft limit of children. No, we're going in for another shot at Kaladin. All right, go for it, but don't you dare, uh, don't you dare die before you deliver that child. Okay, irrational atheist, so you won't want piety. Informative, cynical tends to like that, right? But you're irrational. Jeez, I never know what to go here. Entertainment never fails. There we go. Oh, Crivens, twenty-five percent. And Jerusalem's still hanging out over there on Istra, right? Yeah, Pula. Istra. This is weirdo. Derwin's about to trot off again. Again, before you go, let me give you a complimentary incestuous spouse. Oh my days, I like what I see out of you, Lepardi. Oh, we tried, but I was unable to make uh, make love to my wife. Lepardi's popped out with Baron Hunchback and Spindly. See if you can't fold that into the mix for us, Derwind. If you pop something really good out there, I'll be muckle impressed. And if you're unlanded over there, it's probably better to make it matrilineal so you stay stuck around here. Rather than having her trot off to God knows where. Oh God, how could you do this, Cal Kaladin? Oh no, you were the pregnant one. Died in childbirth. We were meant to have the perk that saves you from that. She did not deserve this. Oh well, we are going off the block here. And that still leaves you without a hideous inbred child. 
Maybe I should arrange a fat new marriage for you with another inbred. But I'm running low on those, and the ones that I do have, I want to keep for myself. Now, gonna have to take our chances here. Frozen grief. Moderate health penalty and diplomacy hit. Personal scheme is hurt. Melancholy. Everything hurts. What's the point in eating when the hole is in my heart? Well, let's freeze that grief. Stress is still a bit dangerous, though. Oh, no. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, I'm about to die. Um, hmm. If I'm going to die, it's a good opportunity to lock all these kids up and kill them. That's going to force you, maybe, to make a bunch more children. And they're all losers anyway. I can't believe barren inbred child has a medium chance of children now. Oh, that's carnal indulgences for you. Oh, right, we ain't done yet. Otkar, you gotta go as well. Weren't you sickly and on the verge of death? I need a hook to get you in here. Don't die yet now, real Otkar. Justice, right, now. Time for you to take another stab at having those twisted, uh, twisted children. Lots of dread, lots of piety spending, kin slaying, it's what we do. Kill all these kids, they have failed me. There, what do you think of that, Prince? You, you probably think that you hate me. <laughs> you hate me a whole lot. But this should make him want to make more children. Well, well, there's one right now. Pa uh, Pandy's on the way. Good, good. God. You are not long for this world. Not sure if there's anything I could reasonably do before I pop my clogs. Maybe cut the old cornerstones and use that to build any buildings that still need built right now. Which is uh, not a lot from what I can tell here. Some of these I will want back, you know. Has Veen? Veen is fine. Has Veen's backup castle? Probably also fine, but could be finer. Since I'm not getting that event for you, I guess I could do up Graz a bit. And leans? Yeah, leans. Wait, no, not leans. I'm probably going to give leans away at some point. Axe that. God, we're still making money, which is madness. Oh god, <laughs> I've become a sinner from all of that. And we couldn't impregnate any more of our wives for one last hurrah. But, that's alright, where one story comes to an end, another story merely starts up. Ninja Pilot is about to take over. There we go. Got everything done just in time. You may continue. Sorry, I can't see it. Ninja Pilot is too enormous. <laughs> right. Died from complications due to inbreeding. Alright. Well done for us. We are still the culture head. We're not well learned. Got no lifestyle set, but we can do all the intriguing that we... Oh, God, that's all he's got. That is grim. I need to think what I actually want done with you. I should probably focus on learning. New player heir is Catty Lars. At least we've built up a bit of prestige. New liege. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get this land back, and we're six out of six. Excellent. 
pretty sure it just lists that instead of natural causes when you die because of low health. Yeah, maybe. First things first, though. Uh, beard. Nope. Well, it's not as pointy, but it is showing quite a bit of girth. So it's not that bad a chin. I'm going to dress you up like we dressed up Daddy. Which is somewhere here. What was it? Step. Yeah, I actually like the look of that for us. There you go. Okay, but your story is going to continue on in the next session, because my body is still worn out from DDR and taking a break now. Seems prudent. I won't be streaming tomorrow. I've got some real-life things to take care of, wouldn't you know? But I will be back the day after, and until those streams, it's a cheers from me, and a cheerio.